let's get right into it and see what we've got here. In the last episode, 937, we were talking all about how to uh, use uh, command backtick, we'll call it, which is the the, the non-shifted version of the tilde key, to, uh, to go backwards when, once you have the app switcher up. And uh, listener Chris says, uh, certainly in 937, Jeremy mentioned that this keyboard shortcut only behaves this way if the application switcher is active initially. So the user must initiate the application switcher with command tab or shift command tab and then tap the back tick key instead of the tab key, all while still holding command. However, if a user just presses command back tick without the application switcher being first active, the Mac will switch between open windows in the frontmost application. For example, if you have multiple Word documents open, command back tick would cycle through only the Word documents and shift command back tick cycles through those documents in reverse order. If there's only one window for the frontmost application, the Mac doesn't do anything. That's handy. I I think I'm going to use this in terminal more than anything else because I have I, I constantly have different terminal windows open. So uh, assuming it works there, I'm excited about this. So thanks, Chris. It's good stuff. Any thoughts on that, guys, before we move on to the, the second one that's sort of related to that? I got nothing. All right. Well, then we will go to Raymond here who... Uh, since I was listening to 937 this morning about the keyboard functions for bringing up the app switcher and switching tabs, and uh, I was trying other combinations and found one that surpri surprised me. I have a 27-inch monitor with my M1 Mini, and I use spaces to have all of my apps running. I have five spaces set up, and today, after listening to your show, I tried some more key combinations and found that control left arrow and control right arrow will switch the spaces screen. I didn't know that. Something new. Very cool, Raymond. Thank you for sharing that. This is what we love about the quick tips because they're things that we know how to do once we know how to do them. Yeah, so, and once you incorporate them into your workflow, they become, right, so awesome. That's the key, yep. Except when you're, and then you're standing over someone's shoulder watching them do it and they're playing with the mouse and trying to, you're just going, oh, stop, please yeah. just use... <laughs> It, that That is the hardest part. It's like, can, can I show you something that would make my stress level lower in this moment? Yeah. Of course, what you're what you're actually doing is trading your stress level for theirs in for theirs, most cases. Right. Yeah. Right. So it, I'm OK with that most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> 